Russia fired on its own forces as Ukraine counteroffensive continues. Soldiers on Ukraine's front lines say Russian forces have resorted to desperate maneuvers, sometimes firing upon their own men, to combat the summer counteroffensive strategies supported by Ukraine's Western allies, according to Insider Publication. It is noted that as the invasion continues into the 18th month, incidents of friendly fire among Russian troops aren't new. Still, according to a report from the New York Times, Russian forces are apparently showing progressively less concern for their own troops they face off against Ukrainian soldiers. Just after Ukraine's counteroffensive was launched, this disregard was highlighted after three days of close quarters fighting in a June battle for the village of Neskuchne, located in the Donetsk Oblast province on the left bank of the Mokri Yali River. The Russians attempted counterattacks, tried to squeeze us out to encircle us, but everything happened as we envisioned. A deputy battalion commander of the 129th Territorial Defense Brigade, who goes by the call sign Kursen, told the outlet, We also had strong support from artillery and the higher command. After it became clear that Russia would have to cede the territory they had taken, the commander said Russian forces resorted to indiscriminately firing rockets at the battlefield, killing many of their own soldiers. They buried quite a lot of their own guys, Kursen told the Times. A Russian paratrooper who last year wrote a detailed day-by-day -day memoir of the war in Ukraine described the chaos when entire battalions were killed by friendly fire. Shortly before the Wagner uprising in June, where mercenary forces led by Yevgeny Prigozhin briefly marched across Russia, coming within hours of Moscow, members of the For Hire Troops and Russia's official military opened fire on one another. Multiple other reports have documented Russian troops being plagued by friendly fire as they advanced in Ukraine, though the Kremlin rarely reports on this.